Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Advance here. And welcome back to some more World of Tanks. Now, I've jumped in the IS-3. I'm at that point now, I've actually gone past the IS-3. I've um, got the next, well, say got the next time. I've unlocked it, but I just haven't got that three and a half million to buy it. In fact, I probably need about 12 million in total. I've all got the Tiger 2 as well, and a couple other tanks as well. That, And the Black Princess as well, although it's not on my, you know, uh, wish list. Um, I've unlocked it, so I want to give it a go. But like I said, I'm probably going to go. Um, I want to get. I, wanna, I think I'll go Tiger 2 first. Because I'm quite happy with the IS 3 as it stands. Um, and then see how it goes. Um, at the moment, the plan is is because um, one one of my. Uh, the first crew of these ones, the first skill set's been done. The second skill set's about 98%. So I'm focusing all experience points on the crew. So I can get them out to 100%. So when I move the crew from this tank to the next tank, at least both of the, the um, traits are going to be maxed out. Uh, well, I say maxed out. It's only a couple of percent, percent but, you know, it all helps. I, thought, I think I might have picked six cents. I hope I did. Because uh, that's really handy, that one. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I can't quite remember, to be honest with you. Let's see what happens here. Now, not top tier here. We've got some big tanks... Uh, on the opposing team here, so. Is anyone going to dash down there and light them up? BK's going in. He's, he's taking the uh, camo route. I see he's going down the middle of the road, which is always the best route to go. I suppose actually he might make it over there in time. Yeah, BK's parking in a fantastic spot there. Yep, and this is what you get. Oh, I can give back as good as you can shoot. You can continue that all day long. This is what you do get in World of Tanks. You do get some total idiots sometimes. And he's be one of them. There we go. He got shot from the flank anyway. That's probably going to make me go blue now. shot on him. Why do people do that? I don't get it, guys. I really don't. He must be behind that house, isn't he? It's not like I've got much HP left. We're doing alright, actually. Shame about that stupid VK driver. He didn't do much damage. That gun he's got has got rubbish penetration. Damage rolls. You could do anything up to 250 on that maximum, but on this thing he's wasting his time there. I think he wanted me to kill him so he could report me, but... Look at the, um, the opposing team took him out, I think. We know there's a T-34 down there, didn't we? Because obviously he's, he's kill he killed the V-3000. No one's really wanting to move as of yet. E75 should be the one bossing in there. Ha. Huh. Tiger's coming up on that side as well. Try that again. It's a bit of a funny angle, isn't it? So it might have a bit of a problem. Could try the other side. No, there's the angle. He's got a good bit of angle in there. Could go for the opposite side here. He's not in a good spot there, is he? That was that first one. Pull back a bit because he's lighting us up now. We can deal with him and then move to that forward position again. And on a reload. Someone else might take him out here. And then move back now. How are we doing? We're doing alright. I don't know why that Tiger did that. Um, not a great driver here. Was nearly in the side turret there. Might have... No, we're not going to do that, am I? Could do that, though. Try the hatch. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. 
We'll do that again, I think. We'll just just shining just a tiny bit there. Now IS3 has been taken out now, so I'm going to boss in there. Let's see what we got. Oh, there we go, another tiger. BK's going in as well, he's got trouble anyway. If I can get into this next bit of the hill, not only can I flank him, I'll be a bit safer there. Can't take that shot, I think. Do that one though. He was rolling back into death there, I think, wasn't he? Now, it's just a shame that guy, that VK, ruined the front at the start of the game, really. But you do get these idiots every now and again. He could be problematic. Looking my way, I've got shit gun depression here. Try the hatch. Take that shot, I reckon. Side turret shot. Sounds good. He's facing my way now, but. No, no show, no dice on that one. Oh, look at that. I should have looked that way, my own fault. Critical hit? Critical hit? What do you mean critical hit? <laughs> I don't want critical hit. I want death. Look at that. I'm just going to gnaw that. So we've got ISA ST, so it's got to be one of them ones over there. I'm pull back for a second, there's no arm. It looks like it come from that sort of direction. Somewhere here, guys. I think there's one here somewhere, or here, or I'm not really sure. Anyone going, or we just uh They can't kill me, can they? Unless they're packed up and they're all going to shoot me at the same time. Aha. Let's go out this way because there's a bit of a bush there and I might better get a bit of cover. The ice is over there somewhere, isn't he? Still alive. He's here somewhere, isn't he? He's got a tank destroyer on the rear. There he is. On a flank, look. He's probably got bad gun depression like me. Oh, he has. Took a bit of a risk there. I sort of knew that he weren't going to kill me for 800, was he? Let's be honest. 
So that was a, you know, I think that was a really good round. Just a shame that that absolute idiot, that if you're watching, that you're one of the people, you know, ruin the community, you know, and make the game. You know, in them scenarios, quite annoying when you have to shoot another player when he does something stupid like that. You know, it's very sad people. I assume he must be very immature. Um, anyway. So, did do too well, really. I was obviously shooting my own. Shooting my own is never really a great thing to do, is it? Two and a half thousand damage. Three kills. I'm pleased with that. Um, good round. Just a shame about that absolute idiot in the round. So like I said, look, they're at 93, 94. So I'm thinking, you know, I'll just max them out. I don't think I've got six cents on there. Neither, no. Um, I'm just going to max their ones out to 100%. And then I'll probably transfer the, uh, the crew over to the um, Ice 8. Um, but I'm not, I haven't been that, you know, I'm not too mad about getting the Ice 8. Um, basically, you're playing in higher tier games with less armor, basically. Uh, and I sort of, I quite enjoy, I've, I, I still like the Ice 3 now. I like, I just like it. I like the fact that you can have a round and, and, and take 4,000 damage and still be alive. And it's a fun, you know, it's just generally an all-round good tank. The gun's pretty good. Speed's pretty good. It sits quite low to the ground. You know, it's got spaced armor. I mean, it's just, just a good tank. Enjoyable to use. And it always helps when one of your teammates starts shooting you as well. Let's see if, hopefully we don't get it this round. I wasn't going to kill him. I was only going to maim him. <laughs> because I assume that's what he wanted me to do. But the VK-3000, that, that tank he's got, okay, yeah, the armor is absolutely horrendous and the gun's not that great, but he has got speed. He could at least spotted something for us, do you know what I mean? He could have at least run up to that hill and then spotted five targets and then died. I know that is the, probably the also just as bad, but shooting one of your own teammates at the start of the round, it's like, what a loser. Oh, dear. Anyway. It doesn't happen all the time, I must admit. It's probably one in 20 for me, I get it. Oh, this guys, please just don't just don't start. It's not national bloody shoot up, shoot your own team day, is it or something? Maybe I missed out on something. No, they're all going that way. Actually, I could actually swing over that way. I've got many heavies going that way. Taking a bad route here, guys. Should have really gone around the other side of the hill. I'm going to take a gamble here. We look on the hill, we've got Comet. I'm going to go on the hill. Tank destroyers, yeah, I know, but what I'm thinking is... Oh, they, they don't say they're not even here. They might not have made it yet, might they? Well, AMX has gone, eh? He's going to the hill. Let me look. Now, I'm a little bit cautious, because I'm thinking they might be sitting over here. Over here somewhere. They could be here already, sitting on this hill. It's all well and good all... Might as well wait for our tank destroyers to get up on the hill. Making massive hits over this side. There we go. This side I expected. This guy here, I can penetrate that, no problem. Might bounce, it's a bit rounded actually, all fairness. Just take a stab in the dark there. That was a bad shot, really. I shouldn't even fired that. M6 over there against IS. That shouldn't be a problem, but he's probably got backup. We've taken out the initial threat, which was the uh, tank destroyers. There's only, there only two low-tier ones there, in all fairness. Let's move in now. Can only make the assumption that the others have gone the other way. All right, we've got a couple more there. I might go this way just to put the pressure on. Two AMX 45s. I think they might be platooned. I didn't look at the start. Got good angling, so I am facing pretty much straight forward. 
It'll sit a bit longer. One down. Now, I was going to sit that out because sometimes you know you can have that that time where you just bounce a lot, and it wasn't going to be that that particular time, unfortunately. Bad gun depression now. I'm going to push in now. Put pressure on. He's only on low health, so he might, they might try and rush him. Oh, bad shot by me. Bad shot. Base off with a nice three. Probably the worst thing you can possibly do. So I get stuck in this mud. I'm actually stuck here. Oh, I'm tracked. It's quite the sand. Like, am I stuck? Really? No point turning around now, is there? See if I'm back out. Come on, you can do it. Not the eye, not the perfect scenario when I mean, they've got tanks behind me, is it? Here we go. God, steering. I might have to. I might have gonna have to um, do that one. I think that was horrendous. That was probably what was causing the issue. And T forty four is not gonna have a good day now. No, no, I'm not going to get that shot. i just got to move in. Comet's going in. I'm going in. No point sitting back there. Shot on the move. Put the pressure on him. Man down. Let's go and find this artillery unit. He's probably doing a runner, isn't he? Oh, and I would be. Well, where are you going to go? I mean, in this situation, you suppose you could just do a bit more damage, but at the end of the day, you're not going to win the round, are you? I'm going to stay on the hill, because uh, then that way I can shoot both ways then. Not a bad round. Fired before the aiming time there, just pinches kill. Feeling a bit aggressive after that VK that callously attacked me earlier. <laughs> Oh dear. So a couple of kills there, not bad. Actually, that's gone up a little bit. Actually, it was that was um, it's gone up one. Getting there slowly but surely. I've actually got, I could actually convert. I've got a bit of extra experience points there. I can convert for another tank at a later date. So I'll give you one more round. The final round. Now I've also been working up the um, slightly higher tier game. I've been working up the um, the ranks of the uh, British tank destroyers. Um, you might have seen a video a little while back on the AT2. And now I'm going to go 88 and obviously I'm going to go through them. Now, I like the Jag Panther. It was always a fast tank destroyer. You know, okay. It's 50-50 between the 30 and the Jag Panther. I, I'll pick the Jag Panther any time. Although the 30 has got that flat armour, you know, you've got the angling on the Jag Panther. And you the big advantage you've got on the Jag Panther is the sheer speed of the thing. For a tank, that, a tank destroyer in that tier and how quick it is, it's just fantastic. I love it. It's probably one of the biggest regrets I've ever got was selling that tank. Sometimes you don't realise what you got until you bloody sold it. You know what I mean? And it was one of them ones. I sold it and that oh, I've got that change. You know what? I really like that tank.
Now, so it looks like T50s going here. I don't want STs just hitting a, crashing into a trolling house there. You clearly didn't see that. Object going this way, 34, 75, looking good. Just now the hill. God, he's spotted already. Wow, look at that. Right in his base as well, in their base as well. Uh, moving into a uh, expected position, I think. I don't know if it's, it's sort of expected for me, really, in this tank, I suppose. T30 there. But he's happy now after the last patch update. Oh, probably sort of messed myself up there, really, by taking that shot. We got artillery, and we have got some artillery there as well, so we'll be careful. Careful in front of me as well, because they could pop out there. away with that. Nice one in there as well. Not great. She could do a bit more damage there, but that's the hate about the aimer sometimes when it does that. out for these artillery shots. We don't have an object there as well, so we've got to be careful. I'm going to move back. I'm just worried about artillery, just for a second. No, I would like artillery focus on me, I suppose. It's a good possibility. Now I'm thinking I might head back. Because we've only got, what, two T fit little, little mini tanks there, I can see on the map. They do not need me that way, I can see there's many a tanks there. An object over there, actually, with all fairness, so he's doing it. He can cover me now, doing, making this manoeuvre. See if I can help this guy out. He's going to be a goner. Move for artillery quickly. See if I can help out here a little bit now. We've only got a couple of tanks left. They're all in base, aren't they? So. I wouldn't have taken that shot then. I would have lost the target when I so. fired on that though. Oh look, another one there, look. Ooh. Enemy armor is for reloads, looks like quite a good spot here. Got object down there, I don't think he can see me, so. Oh, it's three taking some mental hits there. Object left. Kaboom, ST takes him out. Actually, I think that was a 704 right behind him, actually. They're not a bad round. Hey, look. It's better to have a, a good few wins than, uh, than you know, to have a fail at every bloody corner. I didn't do too bad there, actually. I'm third in that sort of tier game. 
700 potential. Did quite a bit of damage. Made a bit of cash. I'm happy. Just still shame about that VK at the start. Spoiling, spoiling the game. But anyway. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.